watching you watching this Kyle Snyder stuff. So he's got he's got a really good drag going right now. He, he's good. And he does it the way he moves. He's always dropping level changing pressure and moving. He'll get to this reverse wrist. And the setup is the same. And he doesn't always get his drag, but his drag gets into his low shot, his ankle picks. But the setup again is the same. He pressures the way he moves a lot here, clearing ties, battling in here, reverse wrist. And at some point, look what Austin had. He's got head position. And another hand is in here. So if I'm pressuring this guy, especially in freestyle, it's easy to get pressure in freestyle. If you get a guy on the edge, he's got, he steps out at the point, so they really start the pressure back. I'm going from a reverse wrist here, and I'm going from his head position, and now I'm chasing that arm, but you've got to keep this wrist until you know you've cleared, and you've got this guy going by. And if the whip is right on this one and the pressure is right, this guy usually just goes right to his hands and knees, but I'm stepping out from the front, and I'm going here. The set I might, and I'm just giving you examples. There's no rhyme or reason. I'm here. I might miss here, right? I might snap. We're just hand fighting a little bit. First wrist in. Here, kick him out. Pressure him in again. He's getting back at that wrist. He's leaning. I'm in here. I got my reverse wrist tight and long. And now I step, armpit. Step, armpit, transfer my body weight out of the way again. Nothing going on by. If you do watch Kyle, yeah, I'm not going to attack. You'll see this happen a lot where this guy really goes zipping by. Like he'll cover Matt, he'll cover distance. He'll get that guy leaning and pressure from his level changes in here. And then when he pulls in here, this happens. And then you'll see him hit this kind of stuff. He'll start attacking those ankle picks or low singles. So, you didn't necessarily score off the arm drag, but the arm drag became that setup to that next shot because you're creating action. We were dragging here, head position, wrist, out and around, underhook, head position, wrist, out and around, here, inside, guys, pressure, boom, around, now reverse wrist, head position, he's leaning, now I'm getting out and around. For me on this one, I don't just... I like to make sure I got that arm before I start moving my feet. So I go here, right here, get Really start whipping it down so I can put his hands on the mat. My setup might have been just wrestling here a little bit. Just wrestling in here a little bit with Austin, right? Chopping arms, level change. I mean, a two on one came into play. Put me on the wrist here. At some point I got to that position, maybe I took him out. Slot back in, that's it. Edge. He's leaning. Getting back in that wrist and you're coming across. The difference is, you gotta really move your feet on this one because you're not, you're not rolling now. Not so much of a roll on this one because you're reverse wristing here. Reverse wrist here. In, pressure, pull. Getting him down to the mat. Questions? All right, one, two. 